How's it going YouTube? Hope everybody's having a great day. Welcome to my tutorial on GPS and VOR in the Cessna 172 with the Garmin 1000. The GPS and the VOR, they're great tools to navigate yourself through the air. VORs are, um, are instrumentation, they're instrumentation on the ground uh, and you can navigate to and from them or you can track radials. GPS is satellite is a satellite based system that has fixed points in the air or on the ground such as airports that you can navigate to and from. So let's just jump right into it and we'll explain how both systems work. Okay. So here we are in the plane. We're on autopilot and we want to learn how to use the GPS. So the first step in using the GPS is to set up the PFD. PFD is the primary flight display, the screen on the left of the cockpit, and the MFD, the multifunction display, is the screen on the right. We'll be using both of these for GPS. So we want to set up the PFD. The first thing we want to do is we want to set up this needle here. This is the CDI. So we want to set up that needle so that it's on a GPS needle instead of a localizer or a VOR needle. So how we do that is we find CDI down here, and we press this soft key below it. And we press it again and again until we see the magenta CDI needle, the magenta needle come up and GPS is active. Then the next step to setting up the PFD is finding PFD option. We're gonna to wanna to set up the soft key, so let's click the soft key, and then we'll use bearing one or bearing two doesn't matter which one you use just use one of them we'll hit the soft key below it and again and again and again until we see GPS come up here so now we have our CDI needle as a GPS needle and we have GPS in our bearing we'll go ahead and we'll hit back and that's it so now we're set up for for the GPS now we can plug in the point that we want so the most common point to fly to using the GPS is an airport. And we can see airports here on the MFD. So we zoom in here, we can see there's Flagler, which is KFIN, there's Ormond, KOMNN, and there's KDAB, KDAB. So for this example, we'll use KDAB. Say that's the airport that we want to fly to. We'll come over here, we'll memorize that KDAB, that code, and if not, we can always look back. We're gonna come over here to this panel here. This is all the GPS panel, and this here. So, we wanna go direct to Daytona. So we're gonna hit this button here, which is a little D with an arrow going through it, that's the direct button. So we're gonna say we wanna go direct to, then this box, com box comes up direct to and the system's like direct to where where do you want to go so we need to tell it where we want to go so we have key kdab that we want to go to we'll use the fms knobs down here to type in kdab into this first box here so we're going to use this small knob to scroll through the alphabet and then this big knob to go to the next letter so small knob to scroll through the alphabet, and big knob to go to the next letter. Our first letter is K, our next letter is D, Delta. So we want Delta, and then our next letter is Alpha. So we'll scroll the big knob to go to the next, to go to the next slot, and then the small knob to go to the, to scroll through the alphabet. So we got A, then we need B. Good, so now we have direct to KDAB, Daytona Beach. That's what we want. So we're going to verify this by pressing enter, right here, ENT, enter, and then it's saying, do we want to activate it? And yes, we want to activate it. So we're going to hit enter again. Now, GPS is activated. We can see on the MFD here, the GPS is going direct from our position all the way down to Daytona Beach. So now, we can hit nav on the autopilot panel the NAV button, click that, and we see that our heading went to a GPS. 
so now we know that the autopilot is following the GPS. The GPS is green. That's a good thing. So again, anything in the autopilot panel, if it's green, that's what the GP, that's what the autopilot is actively doing. If it's gray, that means that the autopilot is going to do that. So that's how you fly direct. Now the airplane is going to follow this needle, which is this course, all the way until we're directly above Daytona Beach. And our bearing pointer here, we can see the track that we're going to be on, and we can also see the distance that we have left. Okay, so now that we know how to use GPS, VOR will be fairly straightforward. VORs are ground-based equipment that send out a signal to our plane that we can nav navigate to or from. So, the first thing in tracking a VOR is we want to set up our PFD. This is very similar to the GPS way of setting things up. First, we want to select our CDI. Now, we have two options for selecting VORs on the CDI. We can either select NAV1 or NAV2. This is what NAV1 looks like, and you can see how NAV1 goes to green, and we have the NAV1 CDI. And then if we switch it again to NAV2, we have NAV2 in the green, and we have the NAV2 CDI. So you can pick any one of them, it doesn't really matter which, so long as NAV2, so the, letter, uh, the number 2 lines up with NAV2 here, or number 1 with number 1. For this tutorial, we'll go with VOR1. The next step is just like GPS, we want to go to PFD option and select the NAV1 option under bearing 2. Again, you can just flip through these as many times as you want until you find NAV1. Also, if you were using NAV2, you would just hit it again to get to NAV2. So we want NAV1, then we're going to hit back. Finally, the third and final step is we want to set our VOR frequency. So for this, we want to fly to Ormond, because Ormond has a VOR on the field. So first we need to find the frequency for the VOR that we want to track. Now you can find this frequency if you do a quick Google search or if you look on uh, aeronautical charts. I'll post a link in the description for some easy free access aeronautical charts that you can, that you can reference to find this information. But for now, Ormond's frequency is 112.6. So we want 112.6 in the active box. And how we do that is we come over here to our nav, nav wheel, or nav scroll wheel, whatever you want to call it, and we want to use the big knob to move around these first three numbers. So the big knob will move the numbers that are to the left of the decimal point, and the small knob will move the numbers to the right of the decimal point. So we'll use our big knob to select 112, and then we're going to use our small knob to select 60. So now we have the correct frequency. We need to get it into the active box. We need this frequency to be green. So we'll use this switchover knob or this switchover button to flip it into the active frequency. Now we have NAV1 on our bearing pointer. We have VOR1 on our CDI and we have the correct frequency in our NAV box. Now when you do that, this is going to spawn in on whatever whatever heading or track this needle was on in the first place. Now this is not pointing towards the VOR right now. So we want to get this to point to the VOR. To do that, we'll come over here to our course barrel. Not the big one, but the small triangle one, this knob here. We're going to right click. And when we right click that, this needle centers. And that's what we want. So then, we want to follow this needle. So we're going to take our heading bug, and we're going to bring our heading bug all the way over so that we are turning in the direction of the VOR. And how you know which way, which way to turn from the needle is just turn to the way it's pointing. 
So this big arrow here is pointing this way, and we put our heading bug right on top of it. Once the plane gets there, we can activate our nav. So we'll come over here to our autopilot panel, and we'll hit our nav button, NAV. And once we hit that, we see that VOR has went into the active autopilot enunciation. So now we know that our plane is going to follow direct to this VOR. And the plane will kind of do some crazy stuff. It'll level itself out. It's just trying to get onto the course. So just let it do its thing, and it'll take you straight to the VOR. And so that's how you utilize the GPS and the VOR in the Garmin 1000. Now this same concept would work for any plane that has this Garmin 1000 in it. It's all synonymous. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I hope this helped. If you have any questions at all, please put them in the comments below. I will be sure to make another video explaining how to do all that. The next video that I'm going to make so far, I think I'm going to explain how to use the flight plan option. That will basically be using the exact same scenario here with the GPS that we talked about. But instead of going from one point to the other, it's going to track from one point to another point to another point to another point all the way to the destination. So stay tuned for that video. That video should be coming out soon. Again, thank you very much for watching. And I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day.